If you watch pro wrestling, you know Jim Duggan. He is a legend. He won the first ever Royal Rumble in WWE history back in 1988. So if you watch him on TV, you think, that man looks pretty tough, but is he really tough? I mean, it's kind of an act, right? What is he really like? Well, now we know. Earlier this month, Duggan was with his wife at home in the country in South Carolina. They heard a man banging on the door. Then the man burst inside the Duggan's home, said he was, gonna try, he was trying to hide from other people who were trying to kill him. So Duggan grabbed the man and threw him back out on the porch and then got his 44 Magnum and waited until police arrived. Kind of an amazing story. An American defending his home on his own without federal assistance. Jim, Jim Duggan joins us <laughs> to go through what happened. Jim, I appreciate your coming on, Jim. Thank you. So what, did, I don't know if I characterized that exactly right. Tell us what happened. Tucker, thank you. My pleasure to be here. Yeah, but pretty much, you know, we live out in the country. We're on a dirt road. I've got about 10 acres. Everything is fenced in. We got a big gate. So we leave the door open most of the time to let the dogs and the cats in and out, you know, during yeah. the evening. So I'm sitting there watching TV. All of a sudden, the pounding on the door. I jump up. As I get to the door, the doors burst open. This guy falls in because there's a step to get into my house. He falls in. And I switch back to the old time days. I'm like, ah! I grab him. I throw him out on the front porch, you know, and I, I say, spread eagle, spread eagle on the porch. And I reach in, and, and of all the guns to have inside, I use it to scare off the coyotes and foxes from my, my ducks and chickens. There's a 44 Magnum. I got the 44. For Magnum, it's a pretty intimidating gun, and I got him down on the ground at Spread Eagle, and he's screaming, help me, help me, they're trying to kill me. So now I'm thinking, well, this is not a home invasion, because I, I first checked the back door to make sure nobody else was coming in. That was my first impression, it was a home invasion. Yeah. So I saw nobody else come in, and I pushed him down. He's screaming, other guys are coming to kill him. I can hear people out on the dirt road yelling, we're going to get you. So I had my wife turn off all the Christmas lights, you know, where I'm backlit. I'm holding them down. I got my gun. I said, nobody knows we're up here. Just be quiet. And my wife, God bless, she's on the phone with 911, almost in hysterics. Her, her uh, blood pressure was way up. And she said, send the fire department, send the ambulance, send everybody. So all the Kershaw County Sheriff's Department, they were great. They responded. But I tell you what, Tucker, as quick as it happened, it wasn't quick enough. People aren't happy to see a cop until you need one, buddy. And That's I'm standing totally there right. on the porch with a gun in my hand, two men out there yelling. I don't know who they are. I don't know if they have guns of what this guy brought to my house. So I'm waiting for the police. I'm waiting. When I first saw those blue lights, I was a happy man. He must have been a little surprised that he <laughs> broke into your house of all people's house. Did you ever get the backstory? Who was this guy and who were the other people? Well, it comes to find out on our, our dirt road, there's only like five or six houses. The guy had a restraining order against him for a young girl at the end of the house or end of the road, excuse me. He broke into their house. Or I guess it was her brother and uncle. I don't know what the combination was, but two men had pistols. They pistol whipped him chased him down the road. Every house he went to, he pounded on the door, help, let me in. Nobody let him in till he got to my house, our house. He climbed over the, the fence. He lost his shoes, broke into the house. I Thank goodness, Tucker, I didn't have a gun when he first came through because I, I thought he was a, an invasion. He first came cool. I went back to wrestling mode. Ah! I got him. I threw him out of the house, you know. And then, then I grabbed that big uh, 44 Magnum. <laughs> what are the odds of stumbling into the home of, like, a legendary pro wrestler? Probably pretty low, it's, it's I would think. That small little town in South Carolina, too, you know. Uh, that's one thing with wrestling. You can live anywhere as long as you're near a major airport. So I use the Charlotte Airport, and we, we love living out in the country. We got a, the girls call it my hobby farm. I got ducks and chickens, dogs and cats. Oh. And so to have someone even make it to the door was a shock. But to have somebody break through the door was a whole different deal. So for, for viewers who aren't professional wrestlers, no history <laughs> of it, which is most, um, what would you recommend if someone breaks into your house? Well, the first thing, you know, that's that fight or flight uh, mode you go into. I think some people, which would be the right decision, maybe go to a safe room, maybe run to another house, go to a neighbor. My first instinct was to attack. 
Uh, you got to do what you feel is properly right. Yeah. But the, the first thing you got to do is call the cops. Call the police, man. Because I tell you, Tucker, my heart was pounding through my shirt. I got this guy spread eagled. I hear people yelling on this dark uh, road. Uh, it was a terrifying ordeal. And, wait, and I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, which probably wasn't that long. But all of a sudden, you see those blue lights flicker, and it was like the cavalry was coming. Amazing. Amazing. And weirdly amusing and great. Jim Duggan, thank you so much for that story. Appreciate it. Well, you know, Tucker, I'm old school wrestling before I go, and you might want to do one with me. Let's go, tough guy. Ho! <laughs> USA! USA! I can't pull it off, but I love uh, that you, you can. can. Do it. No, I'm, I'm going to do it in private when no one's watching. Jim Duggan, say hi to your dogs for us. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.